Hey there everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to walk through something you've probably seen online and that's going to be improving your bed adhesion on your printer using some kind of a stick glue. So jumping straight in, this is about as easy as it sounds, but a couple of things that I would like to recommend to those of you that may be a little bit curious if this actually works. So first and foremost, you're going to want to make sure to pay attention to the type of bed material that you have. And the reason for that is I'm using the Creality Ender 3 V2 with a glass bed. I have actually already gone through the process of cleaning this multiple times and I got to a point where the bed adhesion wasn't great. So just walking through what you do, and I want to preface this by saying I recommend that you use a non-toxic glue because you're using a heated bed. So you want to avoid any issues with any kind of fumes or anything like that. You're going to want to make sure that your glue stick is flat. And basically, you're just going to, as you'd expect, rub it very slowly and lightly across the bed, trying to pay attention to those marks so that you can make sure that you get an even application. Now, a couple of things on top of making sure that you're using one that isn't going to give off any harmful fumes is going to be that you make sure that you level your bed first. The last thing that you want to do is go through a couple of very long prints and then realize, oh, I didn't actually level the bed, and then you're going to have to take this off, and it gets really messy because this stuff's very, very sticky. And not only that, but you grow into risk issues with smearing this and potentially creating a more uneven surface. So I don't think that's as likely, but it's something to to definitely consider is if you have massive clumps on your bed, then you can expect likely you're going to have issues with your print. So you may not be able to see it in the video, but we have the bed leveled and we also have an even application of this glue. Now you may be wondering if you need to do this and if you've noticed that your prints are sticking and the first couple layers are going on fine, then I would definitely say that this is probably not something that you need to do. Now, one thing I do want to note is if you have prints with very, very small supports. So I have a video, um, I'll try to find it and put a link in the description, but I have a video where I did a really long print. It was seven days, one of the supports fell uh, probably in the first day or two, but I let the print keep going. It didn't cause any issues with the print itself, but in some cases, if your bed adhesion is not good, you'll see a support. It'll get to maybe a couple of inches and then all of a sudden it'll fall over. And that's not something that you can just go back and fix easily, especially if you don't notice it at the moment that it occurs. So adding in the glue will definitely help the bed adhesion. Basically, if you notice that when your filament's going down and then it's kind of getting dragged along and you get any kind of like a stringing effect, uh, this will help with that to avoid having these random strings that just kind of, you know, go along the print. So I hope that was helpful. I'll see you all in the next video.